In today's video, I want to go through a bunch of new information about the next major update coming to Black Ops Cold War. Season 2 Reloaded is releasing next week, and we have some stuff to talk about here about new content coming to the season, when we're getting this reveal, the roadmap, the trailers, all of that good stuff, some new information teasers that Treyarch is giving to us today, some new Call of Duty 2021 leaks to clarify, to go through, new Cold War zombie stuff, some stuff in the game right now. Could we see Mob of the Dead added? to Outbreak as a DLC map. Could we also see it as a potential survival map at some point? I want to thank you guys for the continued support recently. We are now only 450 subs away from 70k on the channel. So seriously, if you guys are new, be sure to subscribe to the channel and be sure to leave a like as well. Trail gave us a couple of previews today as to what we're seeing for Season 2 Reloaded. For one, we have this. Suns up, guns up, Miami strike comes to 6v6 next week with a new close quarters layout and 24-7 playlist. This is probably going to be a pretty good upgrade from the normal Miami multiplayer map in the game a smaller daytime version I'm definitely down to check it out hopefully it is pretty fun in the game next thing here coming to multiplayer actually tomorrow nuclear apocalypse which is Nuketown 84 plus apocalypse 24 7 and the return of snipers only mosh pit just in time for the triple double XP weekend prop hunt will return in next week's mid-season update with Miami strike and satellite added to the map rotation along with new props so prop hunt really really fun game mode super hyped to see that back in the game with the next week's mid-season update now in terms of other previews an actual reveal of season two reloaded we should be seeing all of that tomorrow you guys know the expected release date for season two is next thursday april 1st and usually they reveal all of the stuff a week before it could have been next wednesday but today is wednesday and we didn't see any major reveal so most likely tomorrow is the reveal day for all of the season two reloaded stuff and then one week later april fool's day we will get all of the content added to the game this is what they do time and time again so be on the lookout tomorrow we should get a pretty good idea as to what this season is all about and then early next week monday tuesday we'll get additional content the week before a new update they reveal different stuff tomorrow might just be a trailer monday might be the roadmap tuesday might be a new cutscene and all that good stuff so let's go through here some stuff about call of duty 2021 mountain warzone actually made a video on his channel clarifying a bunch of stuff with this leak here i'll leave a link to it down below he pretty much says here that despite what he said yesterday for one, the 1950s leak that he talked about a couple of weeks ago where he confirmed that, you know, Call of Duty 2021 would take place at some point during the 1950s. Okami said this as well. That leak is still technically true. And what his sources are telling him is that World War II Vanguard, and that could just be the code name, but this year's Call of Duty might be an alternate timeline where World War II didn't end and extended into the 1950s. Now, that was just a theory that we had, but now leakers are actually saying that is actually very possible which definitely is super super interesting and at least will mix things up for the game it's not just a normal world war ii shooter like a lot of people are already used to with cod world war ii world at war other battlefield games this at least is something different a 1950s call of duty a fictional timeline where this war never ended could be kind of cool here. Now, Modern Warzone also says some stuff about Warzone, which a lot of people are actually not really agreeing with other leakers here. So he pretty much said that this game might not be integrated into Warzone. And I was thinking, you know what? Maybe that does make sense because they want to just wait until the sequel of Modern Warfare 2019 MW2 to properly integrate Warzone. And most people would be hyped for that. And maybe we don't need another integration for COD 2021 whatever Sledgehammer is doing, but then Tom Henderson, another leaker here, as we know, very credible, said this, Warzone will have massive mid-year updates moving forward. Sledgehammer Games map isn't due to drop until this time next year, and there might be delays to the weapon integrations like we saw Black Ops Cold War. So pretty much here, I don't think Activision is going to miss an opportunity to have a big Warzone update next year around this time April, late April, we're going to see the new Warzone map integrated with Call of Duty World War II Vanguard, whatever it's going to be called, and that will just pretty much happen at a yearly basis. Uh, it's just not going to happen where they just leave the Warzone map the same for the whole year, and they let people get bored of Warzone. They don't want people to get bored of Warzone. People might be bored of Warzone right now, but we're getting this new map very soon. So 
They don't want that to happen, and I'm leaning on the side of Tom Henderson here. But again, Modern War Zone, it's just his source talking to him. So his source might have information that is old, and maybe the info changed. And again, we're in a different time where info is changing constantly, and leaks don't always come out to be true. So you have to kind of take it with a grain of salt. But I do personally think that Warzone will definitely be integrated into every Call of Duty for the next couple of years, as other leakers have been saying. I know a lot of people aren't too happy that this year's Call of Duty is going to be a World War II based game, but Warzone News over on Twitter, I'll leave a link down below, tweets this out and he actually has a big fact. He says, let's be honest, 99% of us want World War II headquarters lobby to return in COD 2021. You could practice your accuracy at the shooting range, 1v1 your friends or random players, open your crates, prestige, activate challenges and much more this should definitely return to the game one of the most unique and interesting features in cod world war ii the game itself wasn't perfect it did get a little repetitive and boring but something that was at least interesting was that you could walk around the main menu you could do all of these different things in the lobby interact with other players it actually was a pretty cool feature in the game and they could expand upon it add more little mini game modes that you could do in the headquarters in the main lobby so i definitely think they should look at this here and bring it back in a whole new way maybe add new locations for it as well so super super cool here let me know what you guys think about that down below but some more stuff here we have to talk about what we're seeing in cold war zombies i saw this this is kind of crazy i never knew mimics could disguise themselves as perk machines so in this video here he goes up to tombstone and a mimic pops out of the perk machine tombstone disappears and then it reappears a couple of seconds later i have never seen this let me know down below have you ever seen this i mean i thought it was a glitch maybe but no maybe it is just some crazy rare thing that occurs in the game so again let me know down below but next thing here call me crazy die rise is my favorite map banged out 50 left Last night i just had to add this in the video show die rise some love it's so nice to see people still playing bo2 zombies especially the underrated maps like die rise going for around 50 i haven't gone for around 50 since they patched the slicker fire back in the day i mean that's the last time i went for a high round on that map so really cool to see people going back to play the map and hopefully they do remake it in a zombie chronicles 2.0 added to cold war zombies now let's go through here something very interesting that a lot of people have been talking about me included obviously does anyone else really want alcatraz island mob of the dead as an outbreak map with mob of the dead easter eggs sprinkled in this is a huge huge thing here because for me mob of the dead and alcatraz island it's almost like the nuketown of zombies in a sense i'm not saying mob of the dead is the most popular map ever it's the most well-known map ever but it's definitely up there everyone knows mob of the dead and alcatraz we saw it in bo2 it was remade in bo4 as blood of the dead brought into blackout as alcatraz island even brought into warzone rebranded as rebirth island i mean it's everywhere and it being added as an outbreak map wouldn't be the craziest thing ever just like we see nuketown every single Treyarch game seeing mob of the dead brought into the game again definitely very possible and as an outbreak map having the entire alcatraz island be the setting for the outbreak map doing these objectives here doing specific objectives that you would only do on an alcatraz map definitely would be really really cool to see some people are talking about this here in the replies they could literally just use the blackout version of it but make it zombified like bo4's mob remake blood of the dead i prefer that over getting mp maps not that they're bad but they don't scream zombies for me and he's referring to you know the fire team maps being added to outbreak instead of actual zombie locations and this guy actually makes a really good point here they need to feel broken when an entire region like that is nothing but the undead. I kind of expect them to be everywhere for the buildings and stuff to be broken down or at least dirty. Lack of dusty effects or anything doesn't help either. So pretty much what he's saying here is that the fire team maps added to Outbreak are cool but there definitely is a weird issue where it doesn't feel like the zombies really took over these locations. Like if you go on Alpine, it looks the same as it did in the fire team map, but with zombies, like there really isn't anything too crazy. A lot of the old zombie maps, especially back in even BO4, BO3, BO2, the maps look like zombies have taken over. Some of them are grimy, dirty looking, like they really look like zombies were there and impacted the map. In Outbreak, the fire team maps just look like 
like normal fire team maps but with zombies there so we already know that Treyarch did confirm we will be seeing new zombie specific outbreak maps added in future seasons so we will see some stuff that probably does resemble more like a zombie map than a multiplayer map and they probably will get the vibe right there and hopefully one of those maps would be an Alcatraz mob of the dead map they could add mini easter eggs they can incorporate the main easter egg have a specific side quest easter egg that is only for the Alcatraz map and outbreak like they could do a lot of really cool stuff there some type of Alcatraz boss fight even like who knows what they could do and I know not everyone enjoys outbreak so could they also add it as a survival map as crazy as that sounds could we see mob of the dead brought into cold war zombies maybe back in the day even bo4 we had this Wulads leak and it says this five and mob of the dead may be faithfully remastered too instead of just reimagined as they currently are back in bo4 this was back in 2019 but pretty much even after they made Blood of the Dead, the Mob of the Dead remake in Black Ops 4, they had plans of bringing Mob of the Dead back again to Black Ops 4, but as a faithful remaster. There's definitely a ton of people that really would love to see this added to the game, and they could definitely just bring this over to Cold War Zombies. Now, that being said, I only want them to do this only if we already have a good season a good year of original zombies maps i don't want them to rush in a faithful remaster of mob of the dead because it's nostalgia because it's popular i want the cold war zombies maps to develop i want to go to these new locations here but after all of that occurs if treyarch has extra time and if treyarch is actually going to give us more total zombie maps than we would have originally expected a faithful remaster of mob would be super super cool and honestly pretty likely to see in the game out of all of the other remasters in the game they're definitely going to do the zombie chronicles 2 maps transit buried and die rise first so those maps would be added first but if there's a map after that that they want to bring back mob of the dead a remaster just like it was back in the day but with new graphics the cold war gameplay style could definitely be added to the game and i've talked about this so many times before i love the cold war zombies gameplay style it feels so nice it's so satisfying to kill zombies in cold war having the cold war gameplay but on the older maps would be sick i want to see that so badly so hopefully at some point we do get a lot of the old maps added to the game but we'll have to wait and see for now let me know down below what you guys think about that i hope you guys did enjoy leave a comment down below black ops if you watch the entire video it is greatly appreciated Catch to the youtube channel members as always and i'll see you guys in the next video or live stream peace out guys